Hi guys, good evening, and welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host, Eddie, and in tonight's video, I will be giving you my spoiler-filled review of the latest and scariest episode of The Walking Dead yet. Uh, oh my god, this shit had serious Haunting of Hill House vibes to it, and I loved it, loved it. Oh my goodness. Now, before I get into all of that, of course, please be warned. Like most of my episode reviews, this is a spoiler-filled review. So if you're not caught up on The Walking Dead, at least by this most recent episode or the past couple episodes, you do not want to keep watching or listening as I am going to be going into spoilers, plot details, all that jazz. That being said, you have been warned. Let's dive right back into it. First and foremost, so great to see the returning likes of both Connie and Virgil. You know, I never really hated Virgil. He, the guy kind of rubbed me the wrong way, but once all that hallucinogenic shit with Michonne worked out and they let all those people out, you know, I... I, I was rather indifferent towards him. I did think it was interesting how he was the one who found Connie at the end of the season 10 finale. Um, so I, but I was mostly happy to see Connie as well, alive and kicking and fighting. My goodness, she can really put up a fight and she is resourceful. And oh my goodness, what a scary fucking episode this was. I mean, seriously, this shit had Haunting of Hill House vibes, not just because of the creepy, weird ass house that they are in with the cut out eyes and all the pictures, but the fact that there were like human skeletal remains in the basement was giving me serious Terminus flashbacks, you know, and these people were clearly just feral, primal human beings who were just living to probably kill and eat, and that's all they were probably going to do to Virgil and Connie was probably eat them. I mean, it would explain the human bones in the basement. These people were probably cannibals as well as being feral, and they looked terrifying. You know, the fact that they ran on all fours like wild animals just made it all the more scary. And like that scene where Virgil hears Connie banging when she's inside the wall, and she's banging on the wall, and he's approaching her, and then we see like almost emerge from the shadow was one of the feral men that shit was terrifying that's what gave me serious haunting of hill house vibes because that's the kind of shit you saw in the haunting of hill house an excellent show which if you haven't seen and you haven't seen my review for it i highly recommend you watch both the show and my review for it anyway getting back to walking dead excellent episode super scary some really compelling interesting character stuff and in, sprinkled out between all the horror stuff and then a beautiful touching reunion between sisters kelly and Connie reunited. Although I gotta say, I'm a little surprised that they left Virgil's fate up in the air. He took quite a few stab wounds to the back and he did not look so good when he and Connie did eventually escape the carnage of the house as the walkers broke in and killed the feral people, which was brilliant, by the way. I was wondering where Connie was going with this plan. They're like, why are you dragging a walker towards you? And they're like, oh, okay. Oh, smearing yourself in guts. You must be counting on walkers being outside the door. Thankfully there were, because they took out all the nasty feral people. Also, it's kind of cool and exciting to see, you know, feral, human feral, uh, feral humans going up against walkers because they were like kind of biting at each other and whatnot. But the walk to the walkers, they're still people. So, you know, mum, yum, yum, yum. Uh, great stuff. I really, uh, you know, I also enjoyed the, the Daryl uh, Reaper storyline in this episode. I am curious, however, if uh, Frost did indeed give up to Pope, that Daryl was indeed one of them, and Pope now knows this and wants to see how far he can push Daryl before Daryl does something he really doesn't want to, or if Frost really held out on that particular bit of information, Pope has no idea, but we'll find out soon enough. And only two more episodes left this year, guys, before the show goes on hiatus and comes back next year, but the good news is we've got two other Walking Dead properties to look forward to in in the immediate future but uh this episode was great like i said awesome character scenes and moments sprinkled throughout all the crazy horror that was centrally focused on virgil and connie and uh, I just got to say, super, super entertaining, very enjoyable episode. Probably one of the scariest, if not the scariest episodes of The Walking Dead I've seen. I thought the season six finale was pretty scary. The season seven premiere was both scary and extremely hard to watch, but definitely scary. And we've seen other scarier episodes, but this one prob possibly might have been the scariest. And that's not a bad thing. The show really embraced the horror 
element to what The Walking Dead is because it is a show featuring scary zombies and zombies are usually associated with the horror genre so might as well have a horror-esque episode from time to time so I loved it I really really enjoyed it as I hope you guys all did too so what did you think of the latest episode of The Walking Dead let me know what you think down below in the comments section have an awesome rest of your night we've got two more episodes to go with The Walking Dead for this year before the show goes on its usual hiatus but thankfully we've got Fear the Walking Dead and The Walking Dead World beyond both coming next month and uh, we'll be filling in the gap while we wait for this show to return but we've still got two more episodes left to go so stick around for those eventual inevitable reviews as well thanks for watching guys have an awesome rest of your night and of course until next time may the force be with you